we are awakening to the calling of the mystic awakening we are Namaste and welcome to BB Television, Brandon Bay's TV, and the second masterclass of our 2014 series. How to really inner listen, listening to the heart, to the deepest knowing within yourself. And how to make that distinct, how to distinguish between what the mind does and the, the kind of doubts and fears that it spins, and how to listen to a deeper knowing within yourself. If this is your very first time coming to the master class, I welcome you with all my heart. And you'll be delighted to find out this is not some lecture that we have. It's an hour's time that you give to yourself, which is very dynamically spent, where you have time for meditation. Yes, there'll be some teaching, and then there'll be process work, where we'll have a chance to go within ourselves and uncover our own direct experience and learn from within whatever it is we're here to learn. So this is a very dynamic time and I hope you'll make yourself very comfortable. Before we start though, I often ask that you please bring a piece of paper and pen. Sometimes we have something we might want to write down in the class. And also to turn off your telephones and to shut the doors and let this be your time. This one hour's time can get quite deep and very profound if you really let yourself be present. So it's a time to turn off your televisions, your radios, or your sound systems and just let yourself surrender to this time that you're going to be giving to yourself. So I hope that you will have gotten your pen and paper together by now and that you will have shut doors and shut off the phones and just given yourself this time. And we always begin with a meditation, but before we go into meditation, I'd like to just introduce this topic that we're talking about and, um, and also introduce you, our small studio audience. Last time we had quite a large studio and audience, we were in India. This time I'm welcoming you from Byron Bay, Australia, and we're in my dear friends Lori and Brendan Collins' house. And with uh, some journey practitioners here. We've got Satya and say hello to everybody. And we'll all be sharing this together as if we're in your living room together. And Kate. And remarkably, I'm, ha I'm joined by my partner, Kevin Billet, <laughs> who's also a presenter of not only the journey work, but of visionary leadership work. And uh, so it's just a time for us to go within. And so, I'd like to introduce this topic that we're speaking about today. It's often what happens, we, in life, we get to a point where we know there's a direction we need to move, or a decision that needs to be made, or we're in a quandary. What should I do in this circumstances? How should I respond? And we end up having this conflict between what our mind is saying and our mind is talking with logic but somehow we don't trust what it's saying and yes, yes, I get that, I get that, and I get this and I get that but the body is actually saying something else and so this kind of friction happens and we go into a state of confusion and emotionally that brings up a lot of fear and so we get into a tailspin where we don't know what is we should do anymore, what we should think, what we should feel, what, how, what direction should we should move in. And so, in this particular episode, I'm wanting to focus on how to make a distinction between what the mind is saying and what the body and the heart are saying. Now, the, the, the body, as you know from journey work, is the barometer of the soul. And the only way you know what the soul really wants to communicate is listening to the wordless wisdom of the body. The 
the awareness that registers in the body. And the body, it never lies. And have you ever had something arise in your life where you need to make a decision about something? Someone, something simple, like let's go to the movies, and immediately this like contraction happens. And then your mind thinks, oh, I don't want to make my friend feel badly, and no, I'll go to the movies with them, and yet you get this contraction. And it's like a glitch. And then we override that. And usually when we override what the body is trying to communicate to us, usually it turns out not to be the right movie, or it turns out that something bad might happen, or we missed a phone call from a friend that was, or a loved one which we really need to receive. But always the body will give us a strong communication in the form of a, sort of a contraction or a glitch or a, a sort of, you know, choking at the throat or, or a tightening of the chest or the stomach itself will actually kind of contract. And so we're going to learn in this episode, how do I unravel what it is my mind is saying? And how can I let the mind really download what it needs to download and let go of that so I can, in a very still way, turn within and listen to what the heart is saying in its wordless communication in the body. And so we always begin with a, a meditation. And I thought I'd let this meditation be about being present be about being present to everything, to the sounds in the rooms, to the thoughts that you're thinking, but really bringing ourselves into the moment. That's the purpose of meditation, is to really let your mind wind down, your body mind wind down, your being get still, so that you can open and be fully present here in the moment. And so we always take a few moments to take this time to bring ourselves into the room, to bring ourselves present to what's showing up in this moment. And so if you'd like to join me, let's take a nice deep breath in. And letting it out. And just closing your eyes. And let's start with the body. Just kind of do a little bit of a tour.